This is a proposal for a curated show um, that I've been asked to do that's going to tour the UK uh, next year. And the working title or working titles for the show is Technosis or the Universal Addressability of Dumb Things. And the idea of it is that we now are surrounded by all these devices that seem to bring non-living things to life. And for me, this produces something akin to what the Aboriginal experience of the dream time is, where no distinction is drawn between things mental and things material, or things physical and things immaterial, uh, which is similar again to the medieval outlook which saw the physical world enhanced, or rather enchanted, by the spiritual realm. No distinction drawn between things sacred and things profane, both spheres above and below in coexistence. So this is the idea of the show then. It's about being in a constant communication with every aspect of your environment. So you have this sort of techno animism this technological animism and the show that i want to do would be quite literally animated you know you'd have these sort of dumb things or supposedly dumb things made to come to life and so they're communicating both with us and with each other so the show in the show i want to create a kind of ambient environment where everything in it feels alive or at least quasi alive. And I put the show together under a loose theme of communication between man, animal and machines. And each of these figures would then be assigned particular parts that then could fit back into the other two. So the whole show at the end becomes this kind of colossal assembled body that's made up of man animal machines so these attributes for example would be man would be both have these kind of monstrous and mechanical bodies animals would be both sort of fossils dead things and spirit creatures and machines would have their circuitry and their kind of embodied spirits or kind of numinous and like I say, all these coming together to make this one colossal body, which would be the show. And these are some of the works that I'm hoping, although I develop, will be in it. Start with a drawing by an autistic boy who thought he was a machine, uh, a man who thought he was influenced by a machine, a drawing of olfactory bulb of a dog. Animation by Jean Suquet of Duchamp's Large Glass. And the next is an illustration of Duchamp with the large glass or making the large glass. Uh, Hannah Wilkie through the large glass. It's called, this next is called the Moniac. It's a machine that shows how the economy works by via water through pipes and tanks. Um, that's in the LSE. Pygmalion and Galatea painting, a uh, big reproduction, I was thinking. Uh, a Moog, a massive Moog synthesizer. Uh, another drawing by the same autistic boy, thought he was a machine. Um, this is Pierre Molnier's uh, The Shaman. Uh, Dwight McIntosh, sort of masturbating men. Francois Delegret, uh, cosmic suit from the 60s. Thomas Byrell, uh, Motorway, James uh, Rosenquist, Highway Trust, Richard Hamilton's Five Tires Remoulded. This is a clay concept car I'd like to get hold of. Uh, this is a 3D print, uh, rapid prototype print of a forensic uh, car crash. This is a DVD in a headset with car stereo speakers that I would show these two videos. This is Matthew Barney's Drawing Restraint 7 
and uh, Window Liquor by Chris Cunningham for Aphex Twin. And then this is a video by Alex Hubbard uh, that I don't know the name of, but he makes a weird sculpture of a, well, makes a sculpture with a car and then drives it, which is great. Okay, so that's cars. Now we're on to animals. And we're going to start with a, uh, this is display I'd like to do of all the animals. A uh, big medieval painting backdrop. These are some African sculptures uh, of a lion and a leopard. Uh, this is a Russian or Soviet space dog suit from National Space Centre in Leicester. This is David Musgrave's Snoopy. Uh, Barry Flanagan's hair. This is a Egyptian uh, mummified cat, which is in the British Museum, I believe. This is the vegetable lamb, which is in the uh, Museum of Garden History. This is some furry fan art that I found online. This is a manator, a medieval um, fabulous beast. This is a photograph of a balloon show with a Churchill the dog. This is a dirigible, an airship, uh, in a, this is a photograph. This is the Rocking Phallus from Clockwork Orange, uh, Martin Creed's Protuberance. This is a model of a bacterial flagellum. This is Derek Boschier's dome, Derek Bosch's dome. This is Robert Breer's floats, these are uh, motorized sculptures, moving sculptures. Uh, Boyd Webb, don't know the name of this. This is from the Cassini imaging team. It's um, images of Hyperion, the uh, a, a moon of Saturn. A moon of Saturn. This is a Mars Red Rover, photographs from Mars. Or a photograph from Mars. This is this will be a video. This is a the sun setting on Mars. This is a model of uh, Sputnik. This was in the VNA's Cold War show. This is a project called Cosmic Dancer, where they took a sculpture, this sculpture into space. This is Alan Jones Temple. This is the unveiling of a Henry Moore. This is from the Henry Moore show at Tate Britain uh, last year. I'd like to use a poster. This display is kind of monstrous bodies. Um, so in the background you have um, this, which is the front frontispiece from Hobbes's uh, Leviathan. And this is a costume for a green man. This is Blake's Ghost of a Flea. This is Patrick Proctor, kite, standing in a room. It's a painting. And this is Avatar Days by Cormac Kelly. Now we're on bodies. Uh, start with uh, Skeleton Dance. by. It's an old Disney cartoon animated by Oob Works. This is a CT scan of a mummy. Uh, this would be a photograph. This is Lindo Man, reconstruction of Lindo Man, or uh, one of the bog men. This is a rapid prototype 3D head of Walt Disney. This is the, a reliquy of St. Eustace. Now this is a green screen, a medieval head. Uh, it's medieval corbel that would have its thoughts projected via green screen. This is a life mask of William Blake and he would have his thoughts transmitted or his words transmitted by a directional speaker above his head. To see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wild flower. This is a hand puppet uh, by Paul Clay of an angel and it's standing in front of a whale's eye. Uh, from Disney's Pinocchio. This is the high magnification photograph of the surface of a sculpture or a painting. What I'd like to do 
is as well is to film Turner's Angel Standing in the Sun. Uh, very close detail, get all the impasto on HD. This is a photograph by Jim Richardson of Light Pollution. This is Dr. D's scrying mirror uh, made of obsidian. This is a collage by Andy Holden, young artist. This is all the frames from Hitchcock's Vertigo. And this is a page from the Gutenberg Bible. This is a petition, North American Indian petition. This is Tom Phillips Humament, a page from his book. And these are drawings by William Leavitt, uh, LA artist. Okay, display this just quickly. This is uh, what I call the infinite mirror box. It's uh, you put an object inside this box, it's a two way mirror, and it shows the thing for infinity. This is a photosynth. This would be a video. Basically, you get people to take photographs of a sculpture, lots and lots of photographs of a sculpture, and then this software kind of allows you to view it in 3D. It wouldn't be interactive. This is an Espresso book machine, and this is what I'd like the catalog to be produced on, sort of live. This is called Thingy. It's by an artist called Will Benedict. It's basically a display stand. I'd have the catalogs and stuff on there. And finally, these are album covers by Hypnosis. Hypnosis. Um, yeah, and that's it.